The starting lineup for the Washington Mystics. Starting at point. Number nine, Natasha Cloud. Hello and welcome to our coverage of the WNBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Sky going up against the Washington Mystics. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. I hope you got your running shoes on. These teams love to push it. So what are some of the advantages to being a good fast break team? Running shoes? Uh-oh, I brought my dress shoes. But, but seriously, the biggest advantage is you don't have to, to score too much in the half court. And that is a huge Four, eight, plus, eight, guys, eight. because scoring in half court sets, it's so difficult to do. Remember, these are the best defenders in the world. Now here's Charles. Pass to Lewis. Some solid defense from Candace Parker. Here's Chicago now. It's a three-point game. Here's Vandersloot. Back to Quigley. Clock at six. Parker with the screen. Yes, and it's Allie Quigley picking up the assist. Chemistry is important to Parker, and she prides herself on working together to find the best shot possible. Now here's Atkins. Alicia Clark on the wing. To the inside. And that one's good. Lewis. As intelligent as anyone in this league with the ball. Clark, I mean, she's always going to find the open teammate. And Alicia Clark, the veteran forward, this time due to a foot injury. But uh, it is so great to see her back out there on the floor. Now here's the Shields. Dolson sets a screen. Over Charles. And there are the sky with another bucket. A hard worker who understands the nuances of the game. The Shields loves to learn and is comfortable running the pick and roll. And the shot goes down. And for Clark, a two-time champion, you gotta love the experience she brings to the table. Yeah, she's a great presence to have on the floor. She's one of the better two-way wings in the game. She doesn't have any true weaknesses. She makes any team better. Now here's the Shields. D by Tina Charles. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Pass to Atkins. The pick by Ball Queen. Oh, and Ariel Atkins. Ariel has her first foul of the game. Terrific defensive play. Cut her off. Squared up. Mystics trailing. Loud inside. And a foul called on Vandersloot. And that's her first foul. First personal foul, team's first. 
first team foul. Substitution for your Washington Mystics, Alicia Clark. Atkins, guarded by Quigley. Pass to Charles. Back to Atkins. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by Dolson. Vandersloot right side. And stolen by Charles. Inside, Lewis. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Keeping her eyes up and her options open. Natasha Cloud is surgical in her approach. Now here's Copper. D right on her. To the middle. Candace Parker, the open look. And that comes off the assist by Courtney Vandersloot. And as her game has developed over the years, Parker has learned to score from everywhere, even the mid-range. Pass to Atkins. Now here's Charles. Now Cloud. Down low. And that one's good. Lewis. No mistake on that one. Good work all around. Chicago leading. Here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Up top, quickly. Defended by Atkins. Pass to Copper. Five to shoot. Here's Vandersloot. And that one hits back iron. That he should be thanking her for that miss. Now here's Cloud. To the paint. Here's Lewis. And it's going to be a three-second call. Sky ball. In for the sky. Diamond to Shields. And it's the sky ball. Here's Vandersloot. Outside to Shields. To the middle. Here's Parker. Got it. Candace Good Parker. job in the low post. And the speed, courtesy of the Shields, you know, she's really known as a scorer, but, but Diamond is also solid at moving the basketball. Now here's ball three. Six points for her. And she banks in the layup. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Quigley with it, defended by Atkins. Parker, and two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Throwing the whistle on a lot of contact there. And it'll be on ball for Chicago. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. One of those generational players every GM is looking for. Candace Parker has been a dominant presence in the WNBA from the moment she stepped on the floor. Day one on both ends of the floor. Inside leaner. Here's Lewis. The shot's Lewis. good. You know, they've been extremely efficient and effective getting the ball in the Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now, here's the shield. Right side, quickly. Vandersloot. Offensive board. The basket counts and one. Lewis. She'll go to the Second. line. In for the score. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into the half. Second we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. First seeing a great performance by Ball. He played a very smart game offensively looking for and finding gaps in the defense and always looking for the best shot possible. Yeah, the way she played that first half, well, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient on offense. She had her head on a swivel and was able to still pick up the pass and get the assist. Wow, Vandersloot defending. Ball queen with the ball. He's against Parker, and stolen by Dolson. Three-pointer diamond to Shields. The Mystics pull it in. We can't get into much better position for the three-pointer. Just didn't get it to fall. Now here's...
Here's Balkley. Vandersloot defending. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Now here's the Shields. She's tightly guarded. Pass to Dolson. Over Charles. Can't hit that one. And Washington will go the other way with it. And here's Atkins. Clark outside. Here's Cloud. Vandersloot defending. Fires from 14. They get a hand on it. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space and she whips on an open jumper. Here's the Shields. With the second effort. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Good job by the Shields not getting phased by the defender. She got into her shooting motion, gets it off, and then she gets to go to the line. Cloud with it. Pass to Atkins. Clark. On the wing, Natasha Cloud. Six to shoot. Inside. And that one's good. Lewis. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Vandersloot. Pass to Parker. Vandersloot. Here's the Shields. From deep. Here's Parker. Oh, yes, she Dennis did. Parker. Five up, five down for her so far. It's not just the 6 4 frame that allows Parker to get those in. It's her motor. It's her desire. It's her drive to win. A nice Boy, shot by Vandersloot. Now, that's a quick bucket. She's Allie very Queen. solid in transition. Well, she does love the Time chance to get to out Washington. and run. And the sky making a change. Washington trailing. Eladon outside. The pick by Ball Queen. Out inside, Lewis. Ooh, no luck on that one. And Chicago will come the other way. They've led by as much as 10. Copper, no good. Not our best game, but they're getting it done collectively. And Deladon for three. Trills the three-pointer. Standing at 6-5, Deladon is a matchup nightmare. She can step back, drill those threes. You have to respect her range. Now here's Copper. Vandersloot outside. Mystics and the foul called on Natasha Cloud. Cloud. That first is her first, first foul of the game. First. first team foul. In for the sky. Here's Vandersloot. Outside Quigley. Four on the shot clock. Let's it go from deep. Cloud pulls it in. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. It's hard to knock Charles off her center of gravity, especially when she's focused on scoring. Andrew Slute outside. Pass to Dolson. On the wing, Diamond to Shields. Kick out to Quigley. Shoots from the line. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. Ariel Atkins on the wing. Guarded by Quigley. Now here's Ball Queen. Pass to Charles. To tie it up. And it's good on the way in. And that'll tie this game up. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Vandersloot. And here's...
Here's Quigley. Back to Vandersloot. Pass to Parker. And off the left Dennis. side of the rim, and it swirls in. Worth the price of Time admission. Parker's mental toughness carries her to success in big moments. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it. Outside, Atkins. Cloud, Vandersloot defending. Pass to Charles. Here's Clark. Five on the clock. And she uses the glass on the layup. And what a time to tie this game up, guys. Wow. Everybody better strap themselves in right now because this is going to be one wild finish. I can just feel it, Tim. I can feel it, too. The fans can feel it. Everybody can feel it. Parker, good. The defense cannot figure out how to stop Parker. It's almost impossible for defenders to stay in front of her. Back to Cloud. Clark. Pass to Cloud. To the inside. Here's Lewis. And again, it's Washington converting. The road back into this game more than a short one, but they've managed to make it all the way back and tie this game up. And I'll admit it, at one point I thought they were toast. They've shown some serious character to battle this far back. I mean, I thought they were toast too, with uh, butter and jelly and everything else. Well, probably the right play defensively. You can't get the block of the line. Exactly. You want to prevent the layup, give them a little Maybe they'll think twice about coming down the lane the next time around. It does send a message. She's got ice water in her veins, guys. No way she's going to miss from the line when the game's still hanging in the balance. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. Veteran Hooper. Parker's been in the game for over a decade. It's just been an incredible career. Watch free throws, guys. This one's a barn burner. Good work defensively by Candace Parker. On the wing, Diamond to Shields. Down low, pass to Quigley. Parker. That kick out to Quigley. Back to Parker for three. The shot is good. Allie Quigley making the play. A fearless approach allows Parker to be so comfortable when taking those catch and shoot jumpers. Pick by Ball Queen to the middle. Here's Clark. It's good. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Vandersloot right side. Dolson sets the screen. Vandersloot with it, working on Charles. Tina Charles with the block. Swatted away. Charles, one of the best ever at rejecting opponents. Incredible work rate defensively. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Clark. It's good! And she has brought them within two points. Vandersloot, she's covered by Cloud, and they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. They yeah, have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone else. Yeah. No other option, though. They did a good job getting it in her hands and making sure she was the one who'd go to the line. And it's Atkins missing. So a close game, see Chicago taking this one. And they break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. This is a win they should take a ton of pride in. They battled with everything they had at the next event. Cierra los ojos, baby, let's go, 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 hola. 
Buenas noches, yo me llamo Snow por si no me conocen. Yo ya tengo tiempo que le meto, pero con todo respeto ya llegó la hora que llegue con un golpe. Tengo whatever cuando quiero lo que se antoje. Quiero dinero para que los haters se enojen. Soy de San José como los tigres del norte. Traigo tanta feria que la bolsa se me rompe. I bet I could pull a little rapper out of cloud nine. Make a diss record with a free translation. You see me, but your knees be shaking. So I'm on the throne and the seat's amazing. Tengo mucho... The starting lineup for the Washington Mystics. At point number nine. Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And in our matchup we tonight, we'll see the Phoenix Mercury going up against the Washington Mystics. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. What a treat we have tonight. Two of the top centers in the league going at it. Any keys for that matchup? Stay out of foul trouble. Bigs can rack them up, especially in a showdown between elite centers. Yeah, and you have to seal the boards. With Sky players this Smith. big and this skilled, those offensive rebounds will turn into points quick. Inside. Pass to Atkins. Inside. And that one's good. Lewis. A capable distributor. Atkins is able to see the big picture within the game. Turner a screen. Nice move. And Diggins Smith gets it to go. You have to be disciplined on defense. Biting on every pump fake just isn't going to get it done. Trust me, I learned the hard way. Now here's Cloud. Clark outside. The three-pointer off the mark. And the Mercury with possession. Well, named an all-star in 2019, the success of Kia Nurse spans far beyond the WNBA. Here's Diggin Smith. Pass to Nurse. Shot clock at five. Reiner. He's off on that one. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. Chuck up two right there. Nice low post offense. While she was at UConn, Nurse won back-to-back -back college championships. And that's not the only time she went back-to-back. -back. Yeah, in 2019 and 2020, winning back-to-back -back titles. Down under in Australia. Also the MVP of that league back in 2020. Pass to Diggins Smith. It's over Cloud. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Mystics taking it the other way. Left side Atkins. And she drops in the layup off the glass. Just tremendous instincts from Ariel Atkins. She sees an opening and drives right in to score. Nurse outside. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Griner. And it's good. Griner. Assisting on the play was Kia Nurse. Kia Nurse. Good vision from Kia Nurse. So she's able to spot a wide open shooter and then set them up accordingly. To the paint. Here's Lewis. Good work there as it goes. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get two things started. In the first two minutes. Turner a screen. Nurse, left side. Now here's Walker. She's covered by Clark. Pass to Diggins Smith. Off target with the three. The Mystics with the lead. Outside Atkins. Now here's Balkry. Defended by Nurse. Here's Lewis. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Not pretty. Got to just uh, shake off a miss like that. Megan Smith, defended by Atkins. Turner a screen. The rebound by Lewis. And 
and Washington has possession. The shot. Turner grabs the board. They've been trailing for a few minutes. But that could change right here. Pass to Diggins Smith. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Atkins. Tina Charles for three. Drains the three-pointer. When she first entered the league, Charles wasn't really a, a big jump shooter. Now, she's just so much smoother. Turner with the ball. Reiner. Nurse with it. Reiner, guarded by Charles. Six to shoot. Turner a screen. Here's Skylar Diggins Smith. Plenty of space. That basket is good. That's her sixth attempt and her third make. Effectively scans the defense. Diggins Smith puts her high basketball IQ to good use. It's stolen by Turner. Now Walker. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Mystics on top. Up three. And we'll be back right after this. Get ready for the Deer Squad! Get ready for the Deer Squad! And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter going. And for the Mystics, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? It's been a solid first half for them offensively, really in tune with each other. Yeah, good ball movement, and it's paid off on the scoreboard for sure. Walker Kimbro with it. Back to Deladon. Deep, sir. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. That basket. Switch here. For those joining us, we're in the second quarter with just about three minutes gone by. Two minutes remaining. Now here's Walker. Two minutes. D right on her. Yep, that one Megan goes. Walker. The D has to guard Walker better than this. When they don't, she's capable of hurting you. The pick by Ball Queen. Clark outside. Down low. And that one's good. Lewis. Phoenix in the lead. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. That one's in her first basket of the game. She is one for two. What desire from Nurse. She wanted it more, but she got it. Pick by Ball Queen. Tries the spin move. Over Turner. And that one's good. Lewis. Here's Diggins Smith. He has six. First outside to the inside. Turner. That one, no good. So the Mystics will take it the other way. To the middle. And that one's good. Lewis. It's a tie ball game. Of their last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is Smash Mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, they're really imposing their will offensively Brittany and getting Brunner. exactly the kind of looks they want. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more aggressive on the offensive glass. It's paid off with a higher rate of second chance buckets. Great effort to build this lead. And normally the team with more effort wins. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. You know, throughout her career, I don't think Reiner's got the credit that she deserves. 
for her effort. This the second chance the points she generates are just so huge. They show her hustle. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Mercury out in front, up by two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. We're seeing a great performance by Ball Queen. She broke out her entire... Yes, sir, we played good today. You already know the ball. 14 points, 7 for 9, 4 rebounds in 8 minutes. I think she's going to break them out as we start heading down the stretch. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break, and we'll see if one can pull away in the third. Now, here's Ball Queen. 14 points for her. Inside. And again, Brittany Griner. The find by Diggins Smith, it's a sign of an elite lead guard. They always feed, they always find the open player. Discussing the multiple-time All-Star Skyler Diggins Smith, now a seasoned vet in this league. The leadership and wisdom she offers is valuable to any locker room. Now here's Ball Queen, and that one drops for her. Not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. And it'll happen again and again if they don't put more effort into boxing out. And that's what it's all about, Brian. Rebound. Effort. Reiner with the ball. Guarded by Charles. Reiner's shot is off. And you gotta love Diggins Smith continuing to get it done. Someone that can help nurture and develop younger players. Uh, you can tell, you know, Skyler has the respect of her teammates. Someone who leads by example from the point guard position. And her squad really rallies around her. Now here's Diggins Smith. Six points for her. Nurse. Reiner inside, guarded by Charles. Reiner misses. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. For the lead. And it's Atkins with the bucket inside. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball not only inside, but convert those opportunities. No doubt uh, what their offensive philosophy is. Pound that ball inside. I love it. Both teams will make substitutions. The Mercury Trail. Walker the screen. Outside, Diggin Smith. Out to Nurse. Just five to shoot. Over Ball Queen. That shot by Nurse, no good. Down low. Charles and Washington again with the bucket. Because of Charles's unique combination of strength and length, she's able to beat shot contests down low. Now here's Walker. Stolen by Clark. Three on three. Here's Charles. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket for a terrific assist. You know, they've done a lot of that today. And you know, it's something that we haven't seen much at the opposite end of the court. Not just a long-range gunner. Walker has the hops to also do damage close in. To the inside, Lewis. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists. Kia, but nice. also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. Now here's Cloud. Pass to Clark. Here's Atkins. Cloud inside. Charles. Fires from deep, and the Mystics hit again from deep. 
We've really seen them step up their three-point shooting in the second half. Uh, I mean, they're just letting it fly out there. Well, they're playing with confidence, and I like that. Sometimes you see teams get conservative once they've got a lead, but they're playing free. And it's working. Now here's Walker. Pass to Nurse. Five to shoot. And here is Petty. Offensive board. Turner a screen. Nurse outside. This one for three. The Mystics pull it in. They've led by as many as 11 points. Now here's Ball Queen. Guarded by Walker. Loud inside. Pass to Charles. And that comes off the assist by Natasha Cloud. It's not just close in. Charles also flourishes in the mid-range. Unfair to stop. And the Mercury call time here. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside, and they want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster. Keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Back to Griner. Deflected and stolen by Ariel Atkins. He's feeling it. Got a piece of it. And here are the Mercury. They trail by nine points. Got that bucket in no time at all. A very nice rhythm to her shot. Nurse is not someone you want to, to start hitting threes. It can come in bunches when she gets going. To the paint. Here's Lewis. Makes it off the glass. He's had such a steady hand. And I think watching this game, she's the one responsible for getting them this lead late. Yeah, her shooting percentage is unreal right now. Just so dependable here today. Now, here's Griner. And again, it's Phoenix. The combination of a long frame and a unique skill set make Griner such a tough cover for opponents. Cloud with it. Defended by Turner. It's good. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead her to the rim with a pass like that. Now, here's Hartley. She's guarded closely. Over ball clean. Out to Nurse. And a miss there on the triple. And Washington has possession. Eight point game. Back to Cloud. Atkins defended by Nurse. Pass to Clark. Shot clock at six. Charles the screen. And stolen by Brittany Griner. Well, this game's finally gotten away from them. It has. There's not really anything they can do. Here's Hartley. A rebound by Lewis. Clark outside. Now here's Cloud. Pass to Lewis. And that comes off the assist by Natasha Cloud. This is a serious game clinching run they're on. They are just not backing off. So it's the Mystics winning this one easily.